Okay, everybody, we are back with the Dibia F20 Pro cordless vacuum. Today, we're going to be putting it to the test on all kinds of different dirt. You can see we have the kitty litter rug as our first test. We're going to do half on low power and half on high power. So, let's just get going. See, in forward pass, it actually did a pretty good job. Oh, that is loud. There is a little bit less litter on the carpet. See, there's a couple pieces here that weren't left. And we did suck up a little bit more on that side. But generally, Max Power did do a slightly better job. I think I'm gonna turn it to high. On the product page, it claims 25 minutes of runtime on this power mode. It has a 250 watt brushless motor in here. There's three bars on the back telling you the battery life. As you can see, had no issue with that dirt right there. So I'm gonna see how well it works on my main carpet. See, it easily picks up the kitty litter. As you can see, that did an excellent job. So I'll be right back and we're gonna go get some different types of dirt to test this on. Okay, the next test is the carpet surface clean test. We have wheat bran, oats, or actually oats are there. We have zoom and crushed cracker. Zoom is like a, a slightly more crushed, different type of oat. So I'm interested to see if this vacuum scatters. Low power again. I'm going to do the one forward pass test. You can see here a little bit of the wheat was scattered, the uh, oats, but generally that was a pretty good job. Not much debris was left in the carpeting, so let's switch to max power. Oh, that is so loud. Definitely one of the louder cordless vacuums I've tested. So as you can see, we had no problem cleaning carpets with this machine. Next, let's do hard floors, so stay tuned. Okay, so we have a pretty large and diverse setup of debris, including some sugar, some Cream of wheat, some oats, some wheat bran or something, some more oats. That's zoom, that's oats. Crushed soup crackers and some goldfish. So let's see how well it does. Pretty diverse debris set up here. Making sure that the angle is good. Yes, the angle is good. Now let's... Sugar was mostly picked up a little bit in the grout line. The backwards pass removed that. A little bit left. Pretty easily removed that. So 
So it does leave a little bit on the forward pass. You can see I had no problem except for a few pieces. Now let me get to the toughest test. Now the goldfish are just too large for this vacuum, as you can see. But it's pretty easy to just suck those up by hand. I mean, like with, like this. Overall, it did a good job except for the goldfish. So now next, let's, let's see how well the F20 Pro does at removing some stuck in pet hair from upholstery. As you can see, it basically made a pretty much clean pass. There's a kitty over here. No, uh -uh. Why are you being such a pest? Why are you being such a pest? Pesty? You've already been fed. What is it? Uh huh, sure. Ah. Uh. That did an amazing job, as you can see. Let's continue cleaning. As you can see, it made pretty easy work of all that pet hair. Well, only a little bit stuck in the brush roll compared to that decent sized hairball that's inside of the dirt bin. So overall, I would give that a definite, I guess I'd give that a, I don't know, an eight out of 10 for the cleaning performance. It's definitely better than most of the other motorized tools I've used on some other cordless vacuums recently. So yeah, that did a heck of a job. So next, uh, we're just going to go over some of the final like features of the vacuum and finish. All right, this now video. we're just going to go quickly over the maintenance and the wrap up of this test. So this vacuum has one filter to remove the bin and access the filter. You press this forward. The whole motor rotates upwards. You turn the bin clockwise. And then to empty, you just press this button right here and the door will open. The cyclone can also be removed by pulling these tabs right here and then the cyclone will come out. The condition of the filter is pretty good. It's a multi-layered filter. It's foam and then it has a high efficiency filter up here pretty clean after all that dirt. The battery is removable and can be charged separately. You press this trigger right, button right here and the battery comes out. You charge it through this port right here. It is a 56 or almost basically 57 watt hour battery, which is pretty big for a vacuum of this price. This brush roll. I'm not sure how to take this out. I'm not sure to even, no, it doesn't look like it comes out actually. It is a pretty wide diameter brush and there's not much pet hair stuck on it, but this brush roll does not appear to come out unless there's something I'm not seeing, but there's no hook, no button, nothing to, whoa, wait a second. It looks like there is. Looks like pressing right here. It does come out. That is really small but yeah, it comes out. Yeah, it comes right off. Okay, so it does come out. It's just really tricky to find that little clip right there. 
Yep, that's back in. So it comes out. Good, 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 good. All rubberized wheels. These, This wheel is rubberized. This wheel is rubberized. Both of these are rubberized. It also comes with this tool, which will get some pet hair stuck on it, but it's really easy to clean. You just, and then it's really simple. No tools required, not even a screwdriver. So I'll give that a good rating just because it doesn't need tools to take apart. And as you saw in the upholstery test, it did a pretty good job. It also comes with two more tools. This tool here, which has a little fuzz thing right here to pick up hair. It also extends out to be a brush. Decent softness and just a regular, pretty normal vacuum crevice tool. Without the battery or, or bin, this weighs like nothing. It's just the motor. And since it's a brushless motor, it's not gonna weigh much. Put the bin back in. So overall, what do I think of this cordless vacuum? I am very impressed, honestly. This tool is better than a lot of the other ones I've tested. It cleaned up the pet hair with ease. The brush roll, it's easy to take out once you know how to do it. <laughs> And it has both soft brushes and stiff brushes for carpets. It comes with an extra filter. It also comes with these two attachments. And overall, at this price, it does come with a wall mount. It's upstairs right now. But overall, can't beat it. It's a really good vacuum for the price. And I'm going to continue using this. I'm going to see how well it holds up. It doesn't feel cheap. It uses metal to hold the wheels in place. They spin really nice. They used a different type of hose here because the ones that are like metal hoses with wrapped with plastic usually break. These ones are a little bit more flexible so they don't tear as easy. The tools are nice. The extra filter is nice. When you wash this one, you can still use your vacuum. The tube is feels, you know, decent quality. It doesn't feel like it's made from cardboard. And it even has a feature that I noticed. There's this vent here with holes in it. There's this vent here, and then there's this hole here. When it's running, air comes out of the battery. Air comes out of the battery to cool it. That's pretty nice. So when the more speed that's going on in the motor, the more air that'll run through the battery to keep the cells and electronics cool. So overall, I like it. Still have three bars, as you can see. No crazy advanced control panel like on other vacuums I've tested, but overall, it's a good vacuum for the price and I Overall, for now, recommend it. We'll see how well it works over time, but I like it and I think that this is a good option. So, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.